What's going on, everyone? Back with another episode of Dropping Knowledge. I'm your host, Talent Sai, and today I'm joined with Jimmy Neutron and someone who is dead to us because he didn't post a motorboat boomerang this weekend. How do you he feel about not that? He did not post the titty boomerang. I was upset. I even FaceTimed him. We FaceTimed they you Philly, on the last yelled episode. At you. They were people. Bro. No, they were people that are all our friends, so they wouldn't even get offended. And I told you, walk in that room and just yell, somebody dump them. And you didn't do you it. You couldn't there follow was through. No, there was no attractive ladies in that room. You were just and there too was a drunk. bunch of people. I was very drunk. That is true. And I was even more drunk there. Do you, do you think I really cared? It's just the act of you yelling dump them to people we know, like on camera that I could watch it would have made me laugh. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't even tell you if I even saw any girls there wasn't one there wasn't one set of electrical tape areolas not one i don't i was blacked out i don't remember if you let us you let us down that's what it comes down to you let us down all i mean is he really oversold how great this concert or show or whatever the fuck you call it was gonna be you want to know you want to know how our weekend was i don't really know if it was good we went to the westie it was me, Fuck it was yeah. Dave, it was New Rhodes. shoes, JF. Let's go, boys. Yeah, Dave bought you new shoes. So we walk Good. in the Westie. We're sitting at the back bar, and there's a bunch of like the typical crowd that we don't mingle with or just kind of there playing pool and whatever. And we're already well, kind of— Hot Wheels there. <laughs> no. We're already getting kind of <laughs> drunk, though. And Dave walks over to the jukebox with like five bucks. He comes back with like a shit-eating grin on his face. And I'm like, what did you do? And— What's the name of that song? You Are My Sunshine, My Only Sunshine by Norman, whoever. Norman Blake. You know what I'm talking about? Like the old-timey, slow country version of it. Yeah. So that starts playing, and he's just, like, cracking up laughing, and we're like, what? He goes, I played this song three times in a row. <laughs> so yeah. all, That all sucks. Of, all of, how like, mad, the redneck was, how people. How mad were the hillbillies? They're like, well, before they were listening to, like, weird shit, like fucking Chingy and Biggie and just, like, weird rap, and then it changed into, like, country music. And then this fucking song comes on, and they, they're, like, looking around. They're like, who the fuck played this shit? And Dave stands up. He's like, I did. I played this. <laughs> and he's just like laughing. Three times. It was me. But then <laughs> and then it came on the second time and then everyone started fucking singing it. They're like, oh, change of heart. It's funny how oh, that shit works. So they're into it. They now. had song amnesia. They totally forgot it had just been playing and they yeah. got all excited again. No one even well, noticed it was... that it was playing that long. It was playing for like fucking so... fifteen minutes straight. It only played twice. The third time never came around. Yeah, that's fucked up. We want our money back for that, by the way. Who was the bartender? They probably skipped Layla. It. Layla she drove us home. Did she really? Yeah, we were fucked up. And no one, we, couldn't, we didn't have anyone to get us. Like, we all, oh, I called a bunch of people. Nobody answered because it was like, it was daylight savings night. So it went from oh, 1 o'clock to, to 3 two. o'clock. Oh, like yeah, that. yeah, like, It was like, fuck. That so, sucked, by the way. No, yeah. no turn down time. No, but what was funny is <laughs> that was like we're sitting there and we hear all this like shitty rap music playing which was probably just like the system automatically playing stuff and then we heard it switch to country music and we like i look over at that group of dudes i'm like i think they put some money in the juice box whatever i'm cool yeah. i'm glad you guys went to the west seat got me some new shoes yeah, maybe yeah. a new shirt a new pair of vans and maybe a new t-shirt you, you paid for my blackout in philly so I'm that's cool with the that. bar and dave, grill that jf's parents own by the way for people who don't know <laughs> we've dave been there a bunch of times your, dave paid for your t-shirt yeah, so I didn't pay like a dollar at the bar. So speaking of the whole bar restaurant type of thing, the first topic on our list today Rhodes made this one jump right to the top and he said write this down People, Put it to the top. people complaining about tips. I don't know what you were getting at with that, but what do you, what knowledge do you have to drop on that? Well, first of all, you saw the post in question that really got me got me irritated. I, I didn't. You gotta you gotta. Can let you elaborate? We we need to know. Well, JF's significant other, or should I say, insignificant other, <laughs> uh, turn posted something about how about tipping and what proper tipping etiquette is. And, you know, it really just gets me going when people who are, like, waitresses or bartenders or stuff want to start bitching about tips and stuff. Like, no one made you get in a job that you're dependent on the generosity of others for your livable wage. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. You only get paid $2 an hour or whatever. 
But if you have a problem with not knowing what you're going to get paid every night when you go into work, then get a job where you know what you're getting paid every single hour. And like, just, oh my God, somebody sat at my table for an hour. Uh, like, yes, what you do when you go out and you're having a good time with your friends, you fucking sit there. Like, deal I've, with it. I've never been in any kind of like serving position like that. The only thing that I've done was probably like work at a golf course where we would occasionally give people food. But I am on the Stolen side of like, if you're 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 a big huge piece of shit if you go out to eat and you don't tip at least 15 percent like oh yeah i'm i agree i think i tip really well when i go it's not it's not the not the fact that i don't believe in tipping or anything it's just please don't complain about people being assholes guess what the world's full of them <laughs> see i think you're listening look, to three I of agree. them right now yeah <laughs> I, I agree with what you're saying, Rhodes, but I also think your tone would be different if if you were a server and you did get the asshole. Listen, let me finish before you fucking chime in with your smart ass <laughs> fucking remarks. Okay, I see you over here looking at me like, really, JF, you're going here? That's fair. But, but anyways, growing up in that business, I think your tone would be different if you were a server and you did get somebody who had an eighty to a hundred dollar our our table tab restaurant tab and they left a two dollar tip i think you would be pissed off about that but you don't work in that industry so you look at it from you know you're looking through the window sure i mean that's fair that's fair i get that but it's also like i guess my whole point is i don't get the whole you have to tip somebody for carrying my food from the kitchen to me thing when it's a service. Do you tip the guy at Sheets when you're buying your food there? Do you give them an extra couple bucks for ringing you up or making in the back? That's what Do I can't fucking, stand. I just went to Where's the line drawn? I just went to Panera like five minutes ago. I got a salad and a whatever the hell else I got. And there was an option to leave 10, 15, 20, or 25% tip when I walked up and the guy just clicked a bunch of buttons like yo that's what i do at sheets and wawa why would i get like if you're really nice yeah i'll slip you like 10 percent. but why would i give you money for that that's your job and like and like the other thing i think about too like they always say oh well you don't realize i'm tipping out the hostesses i'm that's tipping true. out back i'm tipping out kitchen staff whatever if i give a shitty tip it's because somewhere in that chain they fucked up. Yeah, but I that's generally, you. I generally don't give bad tips, no matter what, no matter how bad the service is. I give at least twenty percent, no matter what. But the thing is, this: if someone wants to give a bad tip because their food was overcooked or it took forever, even though it's not the waitress's fault, if she's helping tip out all these other people, there was somewhere in the chain that got fucked up that's getting a piece of my tip. Well, guess what? It's gonna suck for all of you then. Well, here's yeah, something. But you're also. Go ahead. You're you're looking at it in one in tunnel vision, right? Because you're saying if I don't get good service and my waitress doesn't take good care of me or something else that has to do with her tip is fucked up, then yeah, I do give a little bit less of a tip. However, what you're not thinking about is all of the fucking people who cannot afford to go out to eat, who are going out to eat, who are spending 30 40 50 dollars on a meal and then don't have the additional monies to leave a tip for somebody that's providing them a service when really that's just being a decent human being because they can't afford it well look if you can't afford to leave somebody a tip then you can't afford to go out to eat because those two things go hand in hand well maybe you True. should just start this process where you can save overhead and you just don't have waiters and waitresses, and I can order my food, and I can yeah. But then everything's and, a fast food, and then I can walk up and get it. That won't work. Walk back to my table. That will. That'll never happen because that then everything's McDonald's. That's my complaint. I need, then everything's McDonald's. I need a fifteen dollar tip because I carried you your cheesesteak. So how do you tip? All right, you're you're put yourself in this situation. You're at the honey right. hole. You go into the back room Ooh. for a dance. You get two yeah. songs. Ooh. Forty bucks okay. for two songs. So yep. twenty bucks a song. Do you tip while she's dancing on you, or are you making it rain? You stick in ones in her whatever she's wearing, or what? No. If you go in the back, it's a straight forty bucks. That's yeah. I don't tip in the back. That's forty bucks for like six minutes of your life, dude. Imagine what's that in dollars per hour? I don't know. I forty times that's four hundred dollars an hour to rub your butt on me, like (laughs) and rub your tits on me. Sign me up. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. Anybody for that. (laughs) <laughs> for 400 an hour shit uh, but yeah i don't tip them 
All no right. chance. All right. That, Just a question. I mean, I know they got to give a bunch of it to the club, but still. You know what I think, too? Generally, I tip my waitresses better than my bartenders, I think, even though most people do it the other way around. Yeah, I, I think I do it the other way around, but if I'm sitting at a bar— I leave a dollar. I, I leave at least one dollar per drink. If it's like a mixed drink or like something weird that they have to make, I'll leave more. But if you sit down, you have a ten dollar burger. Your tab comes out to sixty bucks because you're drinking afterwards. Do you tip on yeah. the alcohol or like say like you know what I mean? Well, you, you get you get a drink. Well, of course, and, you should tip on the alcohol. Yeah, like if I'm sitting there, yeah, sure. But I'm saying so. So you bought food. Say say you buy a burger and then you buy three beers and your total comes out to forty bucks. Do you tip twenty on the forty even though they just brought you three beers? Like it's super expensive. Yeah, I still do it for my whole my bill. Yeah, as a you whole, should no you should what. do it for your whole bill. Yeah, no matter where what I'm doing. Okay. I don't know. I mean, you know, and because that's that's the biggest thing. Because that waitress, let's say you did get five drinks, that waitress, that's what her tip out goes towards at the end of the night. So it gets figured by if you have ten tables throughout the night and eight of your ten tables got drinks from the bar. Well, holy shit, you just did 80% of your tables got drinks at the bar. You're going to be having to tip out a decent amount of your tips to the bartender because they prepared it. So it's like a trickle down. And I feel like I tip, I try to tip my bartenders well at the Westie because I fuck with Joe and Layla. The whole thing or just the tip? Just the tip. Just the tip for Joe? Yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, That didn't get into like a, like a, you know, I just I got a little angry about that. I get angry when people tell me how to give them money for providing me a service. I guess that's what I get upset about. I agree. Well, the service industry is an industry, and that's you know, it's just let's, another. Let's industry. Let's how, about, how, about, how about well, how about you just jack the price of food up enough where you can pay them minimum wage? Well, why would you do that? that? Because then nobody would go to your restaurant. Then I wouldn't tip. Then you could say you don't have to tip here. We pay a minimum wage, so they don't have to complain. They only get two dollars an hour. Nah, and then people won't go there because people are looking at the price of food. They're not looking at what they have to tip. All right. I'll argue this. Well, to, I'll okay. argue this, this is all a terrible night. topic to argue just because JS Pot committed and he can't have it out there that he's not sticking up for his employees or future employees. True. That's not true. true. <laughs> I just know the business. I've he's, been he's around it my entire life. He's respecting the biz. <laughs> respecting the biz. All right, next topic. We got a public service announcement. This just in, courtesy of Mr. Rhodes. Chokers are officially out. They are no longer oh, in. I don't know. That's Please that's what he said. Did I say that? How drunk was I this weekend? <laughs> are they not out? Was that a drunk statement that you don't? They're in. Yeah, I mean, they're out. Depends. They're kind of like the market's pretty saturated. We move on to bigger and better things. Can you explain so to the listeners, the though? Choker. Can you explain for those what the choker that, signifies? For those of you that haven't been on this train, I started this whole thing, what, about two, two and a half years ago? How I have a picture stand that I need to show you. long time ago. A surefire way to know a female out there circulating in the world was into a little anal. a little butt play a little little anal some butt stuff so she was wearing a <laughs> choker that signified she's down for you to ride the fucking hershey trail home <laughs> you know so jf's got a pic he wants to show us so so i got a meme right oh god and it says if she wears one of these she's 10th prestige in dick sucking <laughs> you tell me and it's a choker no, a girl that wears something like that in public don't suck dick. Well, what Straight does she up. do? What is that? That's, that's a that's a choker. No, toss. that's not a choker. She can tie that, that loose. It's not going to leave. She a got a goddamn Nike neck. shoestring around her neck yeah. four times that's with a bow. She got a nice <laughs> bow. Look at that fucking bow. <laughs> but anyway, you know. So what does I mean, that represent? I like that cleavage. Though. I, but I, anyway, yeah. <laughs> I think the choker as a sign of butts being into butt stuff is over. I think that that's gone. But, do, do you think it's just? The novelty's out. Like now, yeah, now every girl's wearing it, yeah, not just the butt stuff. Many, girl. The weird girls, like that was like the quick way to know if a chick was weird, like and like weird in a good way, not like weird. Like I have ten cats and I don't shave my armpits. Like, <laughs> like if she was weird, like down for some weird stuff. Now it's moved on to some things. Talent, talent jumped on this train because because his uh, lady friends on this wave here. The anal beach. Where you have like mm, no, where you have like part of your head shaved. Oh, part of my that's head another shaved. rule. Part of your head shaved. The Skrillex do. You got a little weird. Those girls are into weird. You got shit. a little weird hair color, like not natural, like like purple, blue, pink. Yo, the septum piercing. Weird shit. 
the septum piercing, the ones that are really into butt stuff aren't the ones that have it all out all the time. Those are the ones they, that got they tuck it up. They the tuck ones it that up. tuck it yeah. and let it out. Let they it tuck it up in their in nostrils. It's got to be the yeah. weirdest yeah. feeling. If it's out all the time, it just means like their uncle touched them or something. Like <laughs> when, they, when they hide it and put it back down, that's when you know they're into some shit. How do you feel about like chicks when, with tongue piercings, like the balls on them? You're just a hoe. Yeah, that that's, that, that, that was like hoe. hot. That like was like when you're hottest, in middle school, or high like, school. When I was like 16 years old, I thought that was the hottest thing like, in the world. Before you ever got your first, you know, blow job, you're like. That girl's got a tongue piercing. I bet she gives a good blowjob. But you, you don't even know what a blowjob feels like <laughs> at this point. That's, that's you're just true. so amped. You're like, she got a tongue ring, bitch. I bet oh, that so little ball cool. feels great rubbing around on your dick. I'm going to rub it up my shaft. It's going to be dope. And the other thing I think about, too, now that I'm older, you know, the little tongue piercing, like the stud on the on the ball and all that. How many dicks residue is up underneath that ball? Yo, I saw that on Twitter the other day. It's like, yeah, someone, it was a meme or something. Someone tweeted, they were like, yeah, the chick that you're kissing with the tongue ring, that's the same stud that's been in her tongue for the last 10 dicks that she sucked. I was like, ew, Uh, dude. That's fucked. I did not see that. That's fucked up. Just think about that next time you're talking to a chick with a big, like, and they're not even cool. They're like, they're like tie dye or like really weird neon colors. It's like, what are you How about doing? The ones that used to have like the spikes on it. Do you ever see them? Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah, yeah. Like, those are like gothic. They're fucking gothic. Yeah, those are people, like, yeah, make fucking make black my, parachute pants on with the chains, doing the weird dances bleed. under the hot topic doing weird dances under the bridge <laughs> <laughs> like that yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't know what they're doing, but it's fucked up. Yep. So while we're talking about piercings on the face or in the face or on the tongue or dick sucking or whatever. Yeah. What do you think about like the Monroe piercing? What's that? That's like the the little stud. I think it's on the top lip or the bottom lip. Yeah, I no, it's remember. on it's on the top lip, like where where like yeah, yeah. Marilyn Monroe's beauty mark used to be. I, I I can get behind that, but only some girls can pull it off. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's another surefire sign that's a, that a girl's a hoe. Like, Rose, you're just fucking. Or how about how about the dermal person. piercings, like in their lower back, where those little dimples are? You ever see that? That's a hope. That might be worse than a trap that means, stamp. You know what those mean is if you search the internet hard enough, you're gonna find an amateur porno for them where they tried to make it as a porn star. <laughs> I know if someone in particular who has those. Same. Who's yeah. Same. Can you we'll, bleep the we'll, same? No, no, no. I don't want to edit it any more than I have to. We'll talk about same. it after. Okay. <laughs> Just leave it at that. And she might be a hoe. Well, that's what I'm she saying. She is a hoe. Like, <laughs> no, if She's you, a hoe. If you scoured the internet enough, you could probably find a... Hey, what's your name? Oh, it's... Uh, I'm a hoe. Chastity... Chastity belt. Yeah. And, uh, I'm a hoe. This is my first adult video. Like, if you really tried hard enough... I'm here to try the it. couch out. Yeah. First time. Yeah. Shit. But no, the I I don't really fuck with too many piercings to be honest. Like Rhodes don't like tattoos. Maybe and I like the septum when it's flipped up. That's pretty hot. I'm out on the. Why flipped up? Then you can't see it. Yeah, because when shit's about to go down, they flip it down. That's how. You <laughs> oh, know. when it's about to get dirty, yeah, dirty, she yeah. flips it down, and you That's know. That's how it's you business. know. That means that they're a respectable person. If I have a job, and then when shit's time to go down, they flip that bitch down and they get wild. That's what oh. I'm talking. About. Here, let's I've throw, never experienced that. Let's throw this little fun fact out there. JF used to have his fucking eyebrow pierced. I did. For Why? a long Back time. Smoked meth. I might have to find a picture of that. <laughs> I might have to find a picture of that. I know the picture. I see the holes the, in your face yeah, right dude, now. They're still the one, there. Wow, dude. There's one picture of you with a pencil up to your mouth that everyone on Facebook changed their picture oh, to. Oh, yeah. And you have it in that. Yep. That pops up on my I timeline did. every once in a while. I did have my eyebrow pierced. I like pierced. had my ears pierced for like six months. I had to take my eyebrow piercing out though. I, I think I wore it for like two and a half, maybe three years. And then I was like, I can't do it. Any- I, I would get headaches because the bar mm-hmm. would sit right on the bone here of my eye, whatever that fucking bone's called. Oh, really? It would sit on the bone of your yeah, eyebrow? But it, like but there's it was so like, much meat there? It would <laughs> fucking cause me to have a headache all the time. You need weird piece of metal shit in your face made you feel weird and have headaches and stuff. That's strange. Mm-hmm. I agree. But yeah, back to our original point. The choker's dead. It's done. R.I.P. to the choker. Rip. Used to be the surefire way. There was a solid six months there where we just used to freak out every time we saw a chick wearing a choker. I, I, I want to test your theory. I feel like now if there's a girl wearing a choker, you have to ask her. Can I be like, do you do butt stuff? Should we do like a vlog of and that? And take a tally. Walk around like a phone. We just look for chicks with chokers and I just ask them, listen, just don't slap me, but are you into butt stuff? Just to, we're doing a survey. Yeah, 
I think that would play pretty well. I think that would. Can we send? Work, can yeah. we send a survey out on the Dropping Knowledge Pod Facebook? I don't think there's too many chicks that would, that are into this type. All of right. Thing. Well, if you're a dude and you're listening to this, you know, and you, you wear a choker, you need to give your girlfriend the you fucking let, survey. Do you let chicks peg you if you wear a choker, dude? <laughs> 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 JF was wearing a rainbow choker in the 10K video. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, whoa. I don't think it was rain- pink. Uh-uh. No, I'm pretty sure no, it, was I don't rainbow. Think it was rainbow. We'll have to go back and review the footage. That means you're into getting pegged and you like to dock. Yeah, dog. Space docking. docking. That's a good one to look up if you don't know what that is. What you dock is when you put your your tips together and pull the foreskin over each other's wieners. Oh, I wasn't talking about that. So it makes a a wiener bridge. Bro, I don't... Are Look you up space docking. No, I'm, I'm not, not space docking shit no, with you then, because I got no skin to go over. There, I'm just that bitch as far as it can go. <laughs> this has gone down a weird, weird hole. Yeah. Let's move on. Should I bring up the next one? What's I don't know, dude. We're we're rocking and through. We're just rolling we through, dude. We're, we're just we're fucking checking we're it off the list. We're just complaining. We had too many things on the list. Let's yeah, go. What so we, got? we got to jump through them. Uh, this one, I mean, we talked about a little bit in the beginning, and it started going off. So uh, this has been on the list for a while. Rhodes wanted to go off about boxer briefs, boxers, underwear. I don't know. Oh yeah. Okay. So when Rhodes isn't wearing his thongs, he likes to wear boxer briefs. Well, no. Just what was crazy to me, I thought like all adult men wore boxer briefs. No. I just thought that's how it went. And then, like, I don't know how long ago, t was like, yo, I need to get my boxers. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, like, I got to get, like, a fresh pair of boxers. He's like, you still wear boxers? He's like, yeah. I'm like, that's fucked up. Got, I got you on that boxer brief train, though, because you need that little bit of support. If not, dude, you're just sweating down your fucking legs. There's nothing going on down there. It's fucked up. Well, I don't how know how much you does your so dick long. sweat during the day? It's like, not like you get you're a working lot of out. Like, ball, like, so, so this like, makes me. Like, ball sweat. This makes me think we need to go back to like episode one where we talked about manscaping. Like, are you not scaping? No, no, it's you just have it's, sweat dripping down. It's skaped. Can, can, we, like, can we kill that? Rose is bald eagle down there. But the, like, my the balls, I don't hit us that. up if and told us how to shave a nutsack. Now my balls just get a little sweaty, like down there. Like you know, I don't know. But like. If you don't wear boxer briefs, isn't it just like a total mess? Like it's just hanging wherever it wants to go, flopping around in the breeze. Your like, balls you get sweaty naked? because yes. they're all like bunched up like, there, can't breathe. I'd say like 80, 90% of the time I sleep in the nude. So what's the difference between you sleeping in the nude and fucking flinging your dick around your bed or just wearing <laughs> boxers and slinging your dick around your boxers? Because then it's just everywhere. Like when I'm well, out all right, there, all right, I need to bounce So around. if you're wearing jeans, you might wear the boxer briefs because you make your package look a little oh, better. Oh, yeah, nice and tight. Yeah. If you're wearing fucking joggers are you wearing boxers so the ladies can I see your shit wear, swinging around I always wear boxer briefs are you wear the boxer briefs so you got the little dent coming out I never you like I the dent the little you don't dent. have the fucking swinging dick you don't want the dick swinging no I only have what's boxer up girls look at my dick only, only, wear, only wear boxer briefs <laughs> only although I was telling JF this you know, like every once in a while, like you gotta like rotate in fresh underwear. Like, yeah, throw away the old ones. They just well, we just went over this. We were at the Park City, yeah, or wherever we were. Yeah. I was like, yo, guys, I need underwear. Yeah, they're I'm a little going. worse for wear. You gotta <laughs> swap them out. They've had their run. They're they're too saturated with your taint juices in there. You gotta yeah. throw them out. <laughs> so whatever. I went to Target one time and I grabbed. I usually get like six pair at a time. I have like probably like I don't know, twelve or fifteen pair of boxers on deck at all times. Boxers or briefs? Brief, whatever, boxer briefs, whatever. Throw them out, get some fresh ones. I open up the pack, and I grab two off the rack, like right behind, one behind the other. The back one, some scumbag, put <laughs> fucking regular briefs there. So I come home with a pack of boxer briefs and a pack of fucking whitey tighty type fucking regular briefs. Like Walter White's. Yeah, Walter White's. Ooh, they were colors. They, there's colors. They're like black and blue, but they're yeah, they're W-W's. fucking the Walter White's, no doubt. Do you wear them? So, so I was like, you know, do you wear them? I was like, I'm getting there. So I was like, you know, I just bought underwear. Like, I can't go back to the store and return underwear. That's fucked up. Even if they're still on the pack. That's not true. I know. We'll get to that too. <laughs> but what I'm saying is. You can't just return underwear, right? Like morally, how well, would you well, feel walking back in the store, even if it's still on? Logically, the not even morally. Logically, you're thinking like people don't fucking return underwear. People don't want my return underwear. Who knows what I did with these? <laughs> even they're still in the pack. But anyway, so I'm like, fuck it. I own them now. I better try them out. Warm to work one day. Holy fuck! <laughs> not comfortable. It felt like 
No. What happened? You got your ass cheeks were yeah, they were flossing. they were up up my shit. I don't know how girls wear thongs or g strings or whatever because this didn't even get like all up in my crack like that. And these were fucked. And girls that were in that kind of shit all goddamn day, every day, that's fucked. So you you said that when you buy your new panties, yeah, you get rid of the old ones. Yeah. Is there one pair of underwear that you're like, I don't maybe something happened special that night, or they're just so fucking comfortable, or at one point they were so comfortable, they're like, I'm not getting rid of these fucking things. Even if they've got holes in them or they're fucking baggy and stretched out. Like that's my pair of underwear. I'm keeping it. That's my special pair. Nah, I used to have a pair of silk boxers back in the day, like a few years ago. I got a nice pair. But of they sticks. got they got like a big rip in them. Yeah, those, uh, those made an appearance in the vlog them. before JF. They did. Yeah, yeah they did. I they was did. getting in your car or something. They, don't they have like kisses or hearts on them or something? <laughs> yeah, they have kisses. Oh, they have lips on them. Yeah, and I got in the car. I'm like, I don't know. That just came up, and I remembered that for some reason. But weren't you saying, Rhodes, that girls return shit to Victoria's Secrets? So Apparently. we had this conversation, all of us together, sometime before. And we were this talking about only a couple months ago. Chicks, like, going to Victoria's Secret and buying some, like, trying know, some, underwear like, on. Sexy ass underwear they tried on, and they're like, ooh, this would look hot. And then they take it home, and maybe it doesn't look that hot. And they want to return it. And their shit's expensive. Like, I bought my Hanes three pack of boxer briefs for, like, 12 bucks. They're out spending there buying, like 15 on yeah, one yeah, thong. They're buying one little ass leopard print thong for 15 bones. They don't even know if it fits or not. Flossing and that like, fucking little yeah, balloon knot. Yeah, the little, the little balloon knot get a little rub down. But then Ugh. they're like... <laughs> but then we were talking to like some of our buddies' girls, and they were like, oh, yeah, we return. We return underwear all the time. That's like That's, that's fucking weird. gross. That's it, disgusting. And they try them on like that That place In has fitting rooms? In the store, Vicky Vicky Secrets got the fucking shit. You go in there and try them on. And then, and then what? If if they don't fit, you just put them back on the rack or what? No, yeah. Well, I don't know. When's, when's the last time them? you're in Victoria's Secret? They have the drawers, dude. They're just out, yeah. bundled up. You just like, oh, it's this, like you're in a girl's bedroom. This shit didn't work. Room. I'm a from the file. So and they they, they the put them phones. on, get all their cream and whatever all over the inside of them, and then, and then oh, they don't fit, so they put they them back. Yeast infections all up in when there. When they see when they see one of us walking down the street, and then they go, oh, well, these are fucked forever. They <laughs> so, uh, uh, but like so next time I go up. in there, like well, I don't ever go in there, but like next time I go in there, I'm gonna look in the back. But like, you guys got a washing machine in this piece? Because like I just saw a girl walk out of them. there and throw her panties. She just tried on yeah. back on the pile. What the fuck? Like what? That's how wearing? diseases spread. What do you wear? I'm convinced. You gotta come up with an invention. That's a billion dollar idea. We're copywriting whatever comes out of my mouth after this. But like some sort of like napkin, like, slash like when you try diaper. shoes. on. Yeah, those like little Not those on. little sock things that you put yeah. on. It's almost like a like a little booty for your vagina that when you try on panties and so, and thongs and so, so it it would almost be like a like a dental dam. Ooh, yeah, the, the, very the, similar. But how how wraps around stick, a taint and how a stick you get box. It to stick there though. A little three M tape. You go back there. A little three M tape. A little spit shot. <laughs> or does every Victoria's Secret hire like a little fluffer, like in the Ooh. porno, just to get them going so they get. Slap that bitch on there, well, and it sticks from the moisture, diddler. super moist. Yup, yup. It, it wouldn't be a fluffer; it'd be but a dude, bean flicker. Here's the other thing. Now that we're on this Victoria's Secret topic, have you ever gone in there without a chick? No. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I, yes. J, JF and I went in there one time because you were buying shit for your your girl. Ugh. I was gonna say, you know, give it PG Gross. for a second. Well, she, what did yeah. I buy her? I know she's listening. What up? What up? Gross. But anyway. Like, is that not one of the most awkward experiences of your life when you go in there without a chick? Like, the, the, I think it's funny. It's fun. Like, the chicks that work there are, like, super nice because they know you're obviously there to spend some dough. But, like, even if you go in there, like, with a girl, I don't know if this is just me because I'm a creep. Are you not picturing every girl around yes. her when she holds up underwear? Are you not picturing her in those? Yes. And when you see the girl that's, like, shouldn't be holding those underwear yeah. up, you're like – do I say something or do I not? Well, I, it's on my place. My brain doesn't filter either. <laughs> like even the gross one in the thong, I'm like, oh no, I can't even unsee that in my mind's eye. Ro Rhodes goes home then and fucking strips down and gets in his bed naked and slings his dick around thinking about the, the go, big chick go putting go a the thong on. Spank bank, <laughs> taking mental pictures while I'm Ugh. in there. Yeah, I got to remember never to touch your bed if I'm ever in your house. 
Why? Dude, we were laying in his bed on Christmas. Yeah. On with, that sounds real gay. With though. Wayne. <laughs> that yeah. sounds so gay. Yeah, we, we were. We were. Oh, we were. We were weird. leaning on it when we were on Facetime. That's right. I was definitely you in. Probably it. put your hands all over <laughs> the sheets, and then you put your hands on your face. So, congrats, uh, my dick was on your face. Well, yeah, shout out, shout out to Wayne because I know he's listening too. That's kind of yeah, gross Wayne, Wayne. We're all grossed out. Your hands were on my. Sh- oh no, you were on the phone with Wayne. Wayne wasn't there. Wayne, I wore one of your shirts to work yesterday. Wayne, oh, the laptop yeah. they were YouTubing you on, or they were FaceTiming you on, was on my bed, which had my dick on it. So you're that was on. So that's the that's the laptop that I'm that. recording this on right now. I better fucking get close uh, and wipe, to wipe this thing down, dude. Yeah. Nasty. Yeah. All right. You said, so and you I quote, that you were going to dick slap me next time that you saw me after this yeah, past that weekend's Jimmy video. Jimmy Neutron shit, that was fucked up. You didn't laugh a little bit when you saw that? Oh, I did. I laughed, but then I just decided every time I hang out with you from here till eternity, I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> well, okay. if I My gave you wedding, hats, your wedding, you wherever, mine. I'm wearing a hat. What? Know, I got <laughs> What's the Jimmy Neutron thing? Because my hair, like the one angle he was at, like my, this was like back and it was like, looked like Jimmy Neutron's hair. Oh, well, maybe you should get plugs. No, maybe I should <laughs> just wear hats. Maybe you should shave it. Just shave the whole piece? Yeah. Nah, I ain't about that. You like, shave yeah. it, I'll shave it. What are we talking about shaving? Our yeah, fucking heads falling out anyway. Yeah. I know. That's why I'm in, dude. Whatever. You shave I'm it, I'll shave it. I can't do that. No. Rhodes, it grows back. It's, it's like, like your pubes, dude. They grow back. No, they don't. Not when you get them waxed off. You don't fucking wax your pubes. Stop telling lies. What's the What's the male equivalent of a Brazilian? Uh, we talked Argentinian? about this last episode. Yeah, what's it called? Uh, I don't know. No what one, no mean? one reached out. No one gave us the the lowdown on it. So we need to put it out there again until somebody until somebody does it. I guess yeah, so. someone leave a comment if you're listening on SoundCloud or YouTube. Let us know what the male equivalent of a Brazilian is. We yeah, speaking of SoundCloud, SoundCloud, how good was that text when I sent you guys when you told us you're on SoundCloud? <laughs> you said, you know said? I've, I've always been an inspiring rapper or aspiring rapper, but <laughs> I guess I'll deal with a podcast or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I always wanted to be a SoundCloud rapper. I guess I'll settle for being a SoundCloud podcaster. <laughs> so, that, that's as so good as we're going to do for now. It's fine. Now that it's on SoundCloud, does that mean it's not only for patrons, patri- Patreons? No, it, it, so the podcast goes up on Patreon. It'll go up tonight late once we're done recording and I edit everything. And then it will go live on the YouTube channel and SoundCloud on Friday at 9 a.m. Uh, so if you want that early access, what do you have to do? I forget. You got to go to patreon.com forward slash town and support us. Do you like that nice little segue plug it, there? Plug it, yeah. plug it, plug it, plug it. Plug. <laughs> Speaking of plugs, let's get to our ad today. Since we're talking about underwear, today's episode of the podcast is sponsored by Me Undies. Just kidding. We don't have sponsors. (laughs) But that would be a good one. That would have been a perfect segue. That would have been a perfect segue. Yeah, you want to send me some micro fleece fiber? Micro micro fiber panties. Yeah, sure. Send me some of that. Oh See, my it's bad too. that I Why? even know. I know the ad read for Me Undies because it's the same on every fucking podcast. All of them. The one podcast I listened to, they just did a really long ad read for Trojan condoms, and it was hilarious. Oh, that'd be a good one. Do we have one today? Really I you, can't, you got one? Yeah, yeah, I do have a, a, I have a good one for you guys. So your local neighborhood mid-dealer, Brandon, is branching out. He's a real entrepreneur. He's got DVDs and Blu-ray he's selling outside the local Walmart, five ninety nine. <laughs> If you want it, if you want the regular DVD, it's four ninety nine. You want that Blu-ray upgrade? It's five ninety nine. You haven't seen Black Panther yet? Guess what? You can buy it watching the comfort of your own home. Brandon recorded it at the local movie theater on his iPhone four. The strands. Yeah, but hey, the audio is a little shitty, and the guy in front of you gets up for popcorn three or four times. But hey, <laughs> you can't get this shit. You can't get this shit. This quality. You know, Brandon's there. His hands shaking a little bit. You can hear him talking in the background. But use promo code TalonSci at checkout when you're buying this from Brandon. Get 50 cents off your DVD or Blu-ray purchase. You can walk right past the red box straight outside of Walmart right to Brandon. He's probably wearing pajamas and a backpack. 
<laughs> full of DVDs and, and mid and DC shoes. But hey, you don't give the little <laughs> girls money for Girl Scout cookies. Fuck them. You don't give Santa money in the Salvation Army thing at Christmas time. Fuck them. But when you Fuck do want to drop some dough outside Walmart, hit up Brandon. His DVD stand is on point. There's All right. And while back you're at it, podcast. get a bag of <laughs> <laughs> One stop shop. One stop shop. Movie and the fucking entertainment. So this is a good segue to the next topic. I don't know how this one came up, but when you're at Walmart, you're at CVS, wherever you're at, all the self checkouts. Mm -hmm. Oh, (laughs) I know why I know about this one. The reason, so just a little, you know, behind the curtain here for everybody. Usually anything that becomes a topic is something that I text into the group and say something happened that really pissed me off. (laughs) So Which one, is everything, so by the way. In my opinion, you guys can tell me if you agree. The self-checkout thing, that's for people that, like, young like us that know how to use shit, can get in and out, pay for my five things I bought in a minute or less. Correct? Correct. Give or take, yeah. I went to Walmart. This was, I don't know, a while ago we were drinking. All I went to do was get a 12-pack of fucking ginger ale. I stopped at the liquor store, stopped at Walmart to grab my mixer, pay and leave. Every single self-checkout thing was full of people with full-on carts from grocery shopping. Were you at the Hamburg Walmart? Yes. Dude, it's like that every time. I can totally That's vouch why. for this because they literally have like one normal line open. And then, just and then they have the one fucking Durka Durka or Derpa Derpa. You can't say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. The, they got the one Derp Derp yeah. standing at the express line. Which, by the way, they don't pay attention to shit because the one day I had two cases of water with the, some other stuff, I didn't have a scanner on it, and I looked over, I wasn't paying attention. I'm like, fuck it. Put it right back on my cart. Hammer police, if you're out there, his name <laughs> yeah. is JF. I can give you his address. Reach out to me in them DMs. <laughs> Again, Anyways. the reason it's like that is because we're so damn close to the coal mining region. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, so all of those weird. people it's come down. S- it's in a weird spot. This weird shit happens there. But what really irritated me, and this is why I made you write this in. So we're in that express lane. First of all, it should be like 15 items or less. I like, think it says that. 10, uh, or 10 okay. items or less. I think it says that. I shit you not. This is no exaggeration. The lady in front of me had at least 50 individual cans of cat food. Jesus Christ. Was it JF's girlfriend? Yeah. Was it her? She was about 80 years old. And she was, I'm going to make the sound effects to try to tell you how slow she was doing it. It was beep. So did you say anything? Beep. That slow <laughs> for fucking 50, 60, 70 cans. No, I didn't say anything. You Why? know me because I'm passive aggressive. I just yeah, but you I can't. I stood there and shot and went. <sighs> Bro, you can't like multiple times. Like you can't be like I'm Yo. gonna be type A and then not be fucking type A when somebody's pissing you off. Yo, Ethel, scan the fucking fucking Eileen. Let's go. There. Scan the shit or get the normal line, bitch. Jesus, <laughs> but that shit drives me nuts. Like I just feel like those things are created for people that you went to Walmart, you know you were there for one fucking thing, you went, you scanned it, you got your shit, you left. Eileen, I'm about to break your hip <laughs> for a full-on grocery shopping person to do. That's my... Well, it does say... What? Nothing. Go ahead. I was going to say, speaking of being like passive-aggressive, I was at the self-checkout last night at CVS. I fucked up my wrist this weekend. I don't know what I did. People keep asking. So I got this like brace thing so I don't fuck it up anymore. That's all I got. Just a brace. Yanking the chicken, bro. Yeah, too much 4K Brazzers on my TV. Too much Pornhub. Hey, dude, you, you use that password titties titties six nine titties you use that so. yeah it's six nine four twenty six nine so i got one item and then cvs is notorious for this i know people talk about it all the time it prints a fucking receipt i shit you not seven feet long so oh, i grab Staples does that too <laughs> who does they got their promos they got their code they've got that's so, so wasteful. We can talk about receipts then for a second, but I just want to talk about the CVS receipt. So I grab the fucker by the end, and I'm, like, looking around, and, like, the people behind me are just looking at me like, 
yeah, that seat's way too fucking long. Like, I, I get it. And I just <laughs> grab it, and I'm, like, walking out of CVS from the self-checkout like a fucking baton twirler in a fucking high school band with this thing just, like, dragging behind me. It's literally, like, I hold it up, and it's still touching the ground. The most ridiculous shit ever. CVS, fix that shit. It's fucked up. They want to talk about killing the goddamn rainforest. Hey, CVS, chill out, bro. How much of that shit's, like, a long, just white piece of paper with nothing written on it? Staples is the same way. Same so we talked about this in the past, but let's go off about the whole receipt thing in general. When you're buying like eased, a donut at Sheets, I've kind of eased my stance on this because a lot more places now ask whether you want one or not. I think they might have. They've listened. heard you. They might have listened. They might have listened to the podcast or watched the videos or something, and they know. So now they just that ask whether everywhere. you want one or not. But it, it's absurd. Do you want? And then my favorite is the fact that they ask you, "Do you want one? Do you want to?" No. Who want? Yeah. No. Yep, yes, I do. Yeah. Absolutely I need one for not. My, for my hot dog, I need one. Thank you. Some people need every receipt. Here comes businessman. I gotta write that off. It's a business we, expense. dude, literally. Okay, <laughs> when I tell you, when I tell you, we scan and save probably fifty receipts a day, but whatever what? it is. For material we buy, for, that's for different. everything. I'm talking personal life. Yeah, but okay, so if you're a cashier, do you have a fucking, like, you're the customer? Do you have a sign on your forehead that says, I'm a fucking just normal fucking citizen? Or does it say, I am in business and I need the receipt? It doesn't, does it? Well, okay. So what, how would they know? All right, what about me Sunday morning being hungover, going to Sheets and grabbing breakfast, standing in line, goes, yeah, this guy definitely needs to take this home. You know how many traveling salespeople up. are that travel on the weekends and can write off what they buy on for breakfast on a Sunday just because you're hungover? JF, the fucking contrarian here. I'm tired of it all. Fucking, <laughs> fucking smack over the head with this microphone. Well, I can't just let you bitch about everything and not fucking like all you know you try to hold your feet to the fire. All you do, it? all you do is just gotta disagree. Well, you're still dead to us because you never posted that boomerang, yeah, by dude, the way. I'm so I don't give a shit. You were bragging it up. Oh my god, I'm gonna do I th- there might have been titties. I don't remember we I don't remember anything. You, even, that you first of all, sorry we're digressing, but we are digressing. We're going back to something we already talked about. You didn't even after you hung up on me FaceTiming. You didn't even say bye. <laughs> you didn't even say love you, bye. Like, you <laughs> might have, hey you Taylor. Have it got really sketchy there. I didn't know what happened to you. Mine just got shot. I don't know. I was in Temple. And then. <laughs> yeah, you might have gotten shot there. I might have got from, shot. I was in Temple. Didn't hear from you the rest of the night when all you said was, oh, I'm going to fire you guys some titty pics. There's Bro, just... I don't remember the rest of the night. I don't remember leaving where we were pre-gaming. Wow, congrats. If you specifically that, but... followed JF after the last episode on Instagram at J-A-Y-E-F-F-F, Go back and tell him how disappointed you are. Well, you know what? So here's – I've got a problem. I'm to leave angry comments on I haven't gotten pictures. enough new followers since episodes one and two dropped. So you know what? Y'all can suck it. And if you want titties, then you can hit the follow button, and I will take pictures of my girlfriend's titties and uh, send them to you. Who wants to see that? Uh, yeah, no, uh, unfollow. <laughs> You're going to lose like 100 followers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, I'm not gonna. Lo- they're all co- They're all trying to bang my girlfriend in the YouTube comments. So, oh, like, that, that's true. <laughs> that's I'm true. Calling you all out right now. That is. There have been a couple so of those. So you see movies. Uh, hit that follow button. <laughs> or you could just scour the internet. She's the one with the dermal piercings. You could just scour the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's who we we didn't want to talk about. It's it's her. Yeah. Sorry to blow your blow your bubble there, turn. No, you're listening. She was oh, the first shit. comment on the SoundCloud. She was like, what wow, I'm plugged so hard right here. That's literally what the comment said. And I was like, oh, man, that's a bad comment. <laughs> Unplug or plug? She's plugged like you plugged she her said, so hard. We, we, we must have, oh, you must have said something no. about her. And she goes, ooh, I'm so plugged right here. I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm plugged up. Plugged up. You're just plugged this whole episode now. You're welcome. I'm curious if she'll listen to every episode. I don't think she will. Yeah, huh? she'll skim it and wait to hear her name, and then she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> true, true. That's so true. She's got to be a guest on one of these. We could just drag her the whole time, as she likes to say. We could. Ooh, drag them. That's all she says on She'll Twitter. start screaming into the mic, though, like louder yeah. than JF already is. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even close to the mic, yeah, you, you, and I'm talking at the wall. I'm li- loud. Talon, you, you could picture where I'm sitting right now. 
I'm in Rose's yeah, I, kitchen. Yeah, I, I can see. I can hear it when you're table, like pointed at the wall. And literally, when I look my eye, when I look right up, I'm staring at the whiskey pitcher. The uh, whiskey pitcher. That was in the background of all the 10K, 50K video. Yeah. Um, yeah. So back on the subject of Sheets and Wawa and like MTO type of places like that, this one has been on the list for a while and we always come back to it. If you work at a place like that, you need to take some fucking pride in your work. No, I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh yeah, I know what you're trying to say. This is so contradicting. Tell the, tell the people what you what you got the one time. You got like a chicken sammy oh, or something with cheese. This isn't one time. That's my go-to order. This isn't one so it's time. Every this time. happens. This happens. I'd say solid sixty-five percent of the time, at least. So let them know. You go and you, you go to, buy it. You go there sixty days out of a hundred. No, but I'm saying, however much, which sixty-five percent is like six out of ten. You fuck. So yeah, or sixty out of a hundred. Okay, whatever. Thing. It says I eat Chipotle fifty-two <laughs> times already this year. Um, <laughs> So my go-to order is like a chicken sammy with, with some barbecue sauce, maybe some bacon, and some, some American cheese on there. So what they do when they're constructing this hoagie, I ask for it toasted. So under my assumption, I'm thinking, how am I going to make the ideal sandwich? I put the cheese on the bread, right? So when I put the bread in the toaster thing, it melts onto the, onto the bread, correct? Doesn't that sound delicious? Yeah. Sounds, sounds common, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, well, guess what? They throw the chicken on the bread, no sauce, no nothing. Put that in the toaster. Then they pull out, they slabber a bunch of fucking barbecue on top. And then they lay flat across the top, the cheese, and then they roll that thing up open face style. So when I open up my foil, guess what? The dollar I paid for cheese, first of all, where are they getting their cheese at? It shouldn't be a dollar for every two slices. That They're getting extorted by somebody in big cheese. Or they're just the big, big, the big cheese the big companies cheese, out there. The big cheese industry out there is fucking over our small gas stations. Fuck the but big anyway, cheese, man. They got everyone by the balls. I, I opened the tin foil up wrapping it, and what? lo and behold, the dollar worth of cheese I paid for is now smeared all over the fucking foil, and I got to scoop it off and try to put it back on there. Like That just goes to show you don't give a shit about what you're turning and burning there. Like You should be a sandwich artist. Don't they call him a sandwich artist at Subway? An artisan or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Drives me nuts. And the thing is, too, it's not like sheets ain't cheap. That's the misconception. That shit's not cheap for what you're getting. You're getting some half-ass sandwich that some fucking idiot in the back there is making for you. Except for (laughs) the dunks. Shout out the dunks. Love you guys. You guys always hook it out with sheets. Yeah, but... Fuck that. I understand it, those uh, people don't get paid asking, a whole lot. I was going to say, you're asking somebody that makes like $8 oh, an hour. No, 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 no. Jeff, an you hour. up a sandwich. An hour. When's the last time you walked out? The little shit plastered on there. Ten and a quarter. <laughs> Ten and a quarter. I'm going to pick up a little part-time piece. Little extra <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, I fucking quarter. doubt that. Shit. They're getting paid $10.25 an hour. Ten and an a hour. quarter. Ten and a quarter. Put my cheese on some fucking tinfoil. Tell me it's a sandwich. <laughs> Damn, dude. So you'll go to Sheets, spend fucking eleven dollars on your shitty sub yep. with your fucking lemon lime OG Gatorade yep. for a total of twelve bucks, but you can't go spend twenty dollars at a restaurant and I tip can't. the goddamn I'm girl five say, bucks. I'm you can't saying. fucking do that. You <laughs> contradicting motherfucker. I never said I don't tip. If anything, I made it abundantly clear I tip well. I'm just saying, don't bitch to these me. These people that make minimum wage should be making me the best goddamn sandwich ever. And these people that are serving me food, they, they shouldn't a, get shit. They get paid a full <laughs> wage. They get paid an hourly wage. You should be doing it. <laughs> just, you don't even know, dude. It just, it's so tough many, out they, here. Do you know what it's like being me? Does anybody have any idea what that's like? <laughs> no, but a couple of comments on YouTube your fucking said brain. that. A couple people have commented that you are their spirit animal. I've gotten that one once What's or twice. This? There's at least a couple out there. It's like, you know, I like to think my life, you guys know Curb Your Enthusiasm? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm like the like X-rated version of him, I feel like. Like I, minor inconveniences just derail my entire day. That's so you know true. Like, that, <laughs> and that happens to you every day. Um, a lot of 90, days. A lot of six days. Six out of seven days. A lot of days. You could, we I could make like a whole, 
like a curb parody of just following you around all day. I'll mic you up and just follow you around from like 10, 15 yards away, just zoomed in on you, all the shit that happens. Is that what Dave was saying this weekend? He's, he, he's like, you should just wear a GoPro on your forehead for an entire day. Like, that would be hilarious to watch. Yeah, it would be. Because yeah, then, like, <laughs> you have to be vocal about, about, about it, though, when this stuff happens. Like, I know you, you just hold it all in and then wait to get it out here. But, like, if you just, like, said what you were thinking right on the spot, it would be fucking hilarious. I don't know. I, I, I kind of feel like he's the guy that, like, gets pissed off and gets in his car and starts driving and starts screaming at the windshield. I just... Like, talking to himself about how fucking mad he is about whatever just happened. I bitch about my drive home from work, but part of it is a good thing because I just get to project my anger from my work day onto all the other people driving with my road rage. <laughs> Bro, just that guy. Bro, just that guy. Is in the left lane driving like 65 when he could do be like going 80 on the interstate and you get in the right lane to pass him and he fucking looks over at you and he's just screaming at you for no reason. That's false. I'm the guy passing people in the driving lane because they drive too slow. Like, and, then and, and, and then looking over at those people and fucking yeah. uh, mouthing and yeah. screaming at them. Throwing Gatorade bottles out the window at tractor trailers and shit. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't know you were supposed to go 40 next to each other on the interstate. That's I'll my fucking bad. break your windshield with quarters, bitch. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Thought that's how it works. <laughs> Dude, let I me just, throw my spark plug at your windshield. <laughs> I'm just saying, some some TV channel missed the boat. They could, I could have had a reality TV show. People would have found it just Dude, funny. Dude, TV is overrated. Like, like my you life. Can have is, a YouTube whatever. channel. Whatever. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, Talon, let's do that. You just follow me around from a distance, just in my day, and just see what. Like I said, like I literally just said, just I got I got it. a yeah, wireless mic, a lapel like a mic. Idea. Let's do it. I mean, I gotta. I don't know. Next time I'm home, I just gotta. That that next, takes some planning. Like I gotta follow you around next all time you day. Quit your job. <laughs> next time you when you quit your uh, job. If more people start listening to this and watching my videos more, I will quit my job and do this shit full time and I'll be putting out content left and right. I've been doing a lot. I put out I put out a video every day for the past five days. I work forty hours a week and then edit from fucking five o'clock when I get home till midnight. Today we're doing the podcast, so I couldn't make a video. Sorry, but I'm fucking I would do totally the do the whole time you but you do the whole time you edit, like nothing. You just press play and fucking there it is, right? You don't do shit. Don't yeah, it just fucking magically edit. turns into how it is. Yeah. I thought it was just all one take. Yeah, everything is all one take, just like this podcast. I thought it worked. Yeah, I wish it fucking worked like that. I need to hire an editor. Yeah. Oh, man. Can you edit? Can you use GarageBand? Oh, that's that's music. Can you use um, movie movie theater? I movie Apple, Apple movie theater. <laughs> I movie. Oh, Apple movie theater. there you go. One more time. <laughs> I movie. I movie. I movie. Use I Apple movie. theater. Apple theater. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Oh man, should we get into one more before we wrap it up, or should we save them for for next wrap week? Wrap it up. I don't know how long are we going here. Are we going for a long time? We're not good at this. Right. We gotta we gotta get better. Dude, we're. I feel like we're. Where are we at? Forty minutes? No, we're at fifty-three. Oh, whoa! Look Dude, at we, us. We, we, we're no, doing all right. We're doing all right. Just shooting the shit. Wow, well, you're killing this. Game. I think that's the best way to describe what we're doing in the last three episodes. We just shoot the shit. That's pretty much how it goes. I mean, if we didn't it's do like this, no. I probably wouldn't talk to you guys every week like this, unless yeah, I'm playing true. Xbox. True, and true. That's the JF next step. That's the next step. Multitask. The next step. Play Xbox and do the podcast at once. That would be fun. <laughs> People would laugh. This this already took a lot of work to set up. Can you imagine the fucking setup to record all of us playing Xbox? That would be fucking yeah. hilarious, by the way, though. That would be so funny, in my opinion. I don't know. People it might yeah, just be dude. funny to us. And so another thing Dave says, I don't know if Dave really actually does like me and think I'm funny, but he tells me all the time we should just record everything I do. Like when we play video games, he just laughs the whole time. Yeah, he, he said talks. that to me too. We just, we just talk stupid the whole time. I don't know. That's because you're Isn't coming it? off of work, you're hot and heated, and you're ready to, to let it all out. So No, I just relax. I don't even get mad. I'm not even mad. mad. I don't though. I don't know. Maybe I do. To me, it's not getting mad. Maybe to you guys, it seems like I'm mad. I don't know. What are you guys doing for St. Patrick's Day? Isn't that this weekend? Yeah, I, I got plans. I'm not really doing anything drinking-wise. 
Oh, you're going to South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. So if there's any any single ladies out around there. Oh, all the single ladies. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, it's like boomerang. I don't have any JF, what are you doing? You're going to Kutz Patties with Jero. Fuck no. <laughs> I don't even think oh, he's not even... Man, that would be a great story to tell. No, I'm, we can't tell I've gone him. too many times. Well, we were there. I'm no, we were it. there like, like a few months ago. <laughs> You mean that a was year more ago? Than a few months ago. Oh ago? no, yeah, we can't we can't talk about that on the podcast. You were there. Oh, that was like, I think that was that last summer. I don't remember. Did we go like right at the end of the year? Right at the beginning of the year. Was it the beginning? Yeah, of the year? it's like August or September. Long story short, me and JF both have been graduated for what six years. We're Sigma yeah, Pi, bro. We were part of a fraternity. <laughs> Yo, what frat are we in? What frat is it again? What's the secret handshake? Sig Pi from Penn State. That's why you don't recognize us because we go to a different yeah. school. Dude, that was always. Wow, you're not going to give me the secret handshake, you fucking idiot. No, I'm not going to Kutz Patties. I don't. I don't think I'm doing anything. The video from Kutz Patties from last you. year was a little wild. I think that that's the I last time go I'm ever going there. I'm over Did that. we go to Kutz Patties last year for real? Yeah, we yeah, went because remember the cops came. We were sitting at someone's house, and there's a there's a whole vlog on it. Yeah, Rose not, was there too, I'm, I think. No, I no, he wasn't. To Patties. No. I am not going back to any college party until I have kids one day, and I'm the dad in that video that goes viral, losing a beer between some twenty year old chicks' tits. That's what <laughs> I'm gonna do. That's the next time I'm gonna be sixty. <laughs> Doing like a I, kit yeah. luge, or like now they're doing butt luges. Who knows what they're going to be on by then? Yeah, like I just saw that on Instagram the other day. It was the chick dude. that I told you to follow. Did you see yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Dude, she's a that, butt luge. I saw a that made up for your lack of boomerang, JF. I saw a comment on one of those that was like chugging a beer at night, waking up with pink eye in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So to, to put this into perspective, it's like it's like losing a beer, but instead of using like a block of ice or something, you, or the dude cleavage. sticks his face or cleavage, sticks his face down by the old balloon knot and then the bar, it was a bartender dumping a beer down this chick's ass crack, and he was slurping it up. And then he goes to, like, stop because he had probably had a lot of shit in his mouth, literally. And then they fucking shoved his head back down into her butt. And, dude, <laughs> it was just, I don't know. So I'm who not knows up with what the they're going to be doing by, who knows what they're going to be doing in, like, 30 years from now. Like, they might be chugging that in certain parts of their body, and you have to drink it out of that. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I mean, how much more extreme can you get? I can't even think of anything. How much more extreme do you think we could get from what stuff was happening when we were younger? I mean, who knows? You never know, I guess. Right. What? What? Tell us what it would be. What do you know. think it more extreme is? Tell us. I, I, I want to know. You, what kind might, of weird shit are you thinking about right now? They might chug the beer up their butt and then you yeah. gotta drink it out of there. No, like a butt like chug, you got reverse it, like, chug. Like a uh, like butthole Capri Sun beer. Like oh, you get oh beer. dude. Butthole yeah, Capri maybe. Suns. Yeah, but what? Like, like, you see, stick a little straw like, in it. Yeah, it's a little clear, tiny straw. But what's, the, what's the benefit to doing that? They're like, there has to be a benefit. Like, people want to fucking butt chug shit because they're like, I'm going to get wasted so fast. Because you could The person be with the beer in their video. ass gets drunk, and then the person you drinking be, it gets drunk. It's like sharing a beer. Yeah, you can yeah, become but, like Instagram famous, like the titty boomerang. Like, I'd you rather chug a normal beer than fucking Capri Sun somebody's fucking balloon. You, a hard 10 said, yo, I'm putting this beer up my butthole. You want to drink it out? You'd say no. I'm in. Yeah, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> Told you. I, whatever, dog. Oh, well, I, I'm, I'm in, you know, in the hopes of the Capri Sun leads to something else. You know, there's, it's kind of like... You know, it'd be dope if one day when chicks got like... So like in the future, like boob jobs, they could fill the boobs up with drinks, and then like you could drink out of a chick's tit. Wouldn't that be dope? And then she like could just milk. get them filled up. Yeah, but like good drinks. So she's like got milk. like a fucking like, like Tito's and vodka. Yeah, like a Tito's like a and club. Like a, drinking it out. So she's just a, squirting through the areola, and then guess what? There's just like a little thing, and you just put more in, <laughs> like a camel pack. Breast implant camel pack. That, that that would probably put out like some doctors and boob implants. Dude, write like, that idea fill down. It up with vodka. Write that idea down. That's I, millions. I got the vodka We're, titty. Yeah. We got a bunch of millions. You could have two different titties. You could have a vodka That's titty. You saying. could have a fucking 
Man, Jamie, I'm good on that. I, I need a Jaeger bomb. Okay, now I just need to sip on my mixed drink real quick. Red Bull titty and a Jaeger titty. That'd be perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking of that, my <laughs> drink is empty now. Yeah. I guess that means it's time to wrap it up. Yeah, I guess that I guess that's what that means. So right. since the last episode, we expanded a little bit. Like I said, we're now on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com forward slash dropping knowledge pod. Um, we are on Facebook now too, facebook.com yeah. forward slash dropping knowledge pod. I don't know why I made that. I did that basically just to connect it with the Instagram, but we're everywhere mm. now. So y'all know where to find us. Rhodes, where can they find you if they want to follow you and learn some more shit? Um, a roads two seven on the Twitter sphere, and AM roads two seven. If you want to find them dank booty models, just look through who I'm following. You just need to start posting. I will. And JF, it's the same every week. JF J A Y E F F F three Fs. Follow me. I'll talk to you all day. His social all security number is one seven two three zero four two eight zero. That's my social. Yep. So Sweet. write that down real Text quick. Text it or sex it. Let's yep. go. Yup. Everything will be linked in the description down below. If you like listening to this, let us know. Give us some topics. Hit us up on Twitter or on Instagram. Twitter is official DK Pod. And yeah, follow us on SoundCloud. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as long as this thing keeps growing, more people keep listening, I think we'll keep doing it because we still have a lot of shit to drop some knowledge on. Hey, we'll be here just one last Friday. thing, single ladies in the Myrtle Beach area, slide in those DMs, trying to get after Yeah. <laughs> this weekend, by the way, I'll, I'll be in Nashville, Tennessee. I don't know if anyone's from Tennessee, but I'll be there. You're the Bring only 10 I see. Oh! Hey! hey. About to get, you should drop that and get laid. This oh, weekend. he's gonna when he gets to see his girl. Nice in butt. Ooh. Ooh. She does wear chokers. Yep, and, she was an OG choker girl. We're we like, she's... This is like a All bonus right. suit for everybody. All right. <laughs> We're going to end that. Yeah, we got to. Ashley's going to be. Running out of disk space. <laughs> I got to I gotta end it. All right. All right. All right, All right guys. Thanks, thanks for listening. And we'll talk to you next week. Peace. Thank you. See ya.